Let's do it. Jumping right in, Patty B's versus NPC. 30 minutes on the clock, let's go. Downwell time. Downwell. These tournaments are wrapping up uh, at a pretty fast pace, man. We're already 10% done with both of them. Let me take those cats away. It's a fresh board. I haven't seen Patty start yet, so I'm gonna have to credit him whatever time, you know. Making notes. I wonder where he went. Did he lose this game? There he goes. Okay, 45 seconds credit to Patty, it looks like. He should be moving uh, now. Yeah, there he goes. 50, actually. No big deal. Anyway, hopefully OBS stays online for me. <laughs> it was an issue last time. Bop, bop, bop. Is that boulder style on the left NPC's using? Does it start with 2 HP? It is. I can tell because when he's on the ground, he's uh he's curled up. Go for that 2 HP bonus. Maybe I'll help him tank some more, but not sure. Everyone has their own plan for this. Yeah, this first time we've seen that yellow color scheme, yellowish, orangish, uh, it's got a soft gray background. It's not quite black, it's like DDD. Well, I guess I'm thinking backwards actually, it would be like 222. <laughs> it's right, yeah. This game is head white face. Hey, problems. Didn't you sign up for this tournament? I didn't see your name in it. Did you bail out? Did you did you find out how hard it was actually to, to pick this game up without too much practice? Because it's rough. We've seen some really good players already too. Beating this game in like nine, ten minutes consistently. Good pace. World record's like eight and a half. NPC is already in area two, crawling through. Yeah, I thought you signed up, but I didn't see your name. I didn't know what happened. I had a couple people uh, do that when they they picked it up. It is a fun game for sure, but the speed run it, I'm asking a lot. Hattie's taken a death. NPC still has only lost that extra health that he started with with the boulder form. I don't know enough about Risk of Rain. I won't be your Risk of Rain boy. If you want that, you're gonna have to look somewhere else. I'm never gonna know enough about that game to host it. Problems, I was playing with your penguin on uh, Link to the Past and I got like, it was that huge daily right after AGDQ and I got like 11th place. <laughs> I was. It shot me up to the top 50 on that stupid uh, ranking thing. It was worth so much, so many points for me, who hardly ever plays. Fastest penguin alive, I'll tell you what. We're in water zone already on NPC's screen. That boulder style does seem to be working for him. He would technically be dead without it, uh, but I think he'd play differently too if he didn't have it. Because um, uh, what it's costing him is upgrades, I believe. And that hurts. But he has some pretty good ones. He's eating corpses for health now. Lots of corpses to eat here too. The turtles and the squids are all extremely easy to consume. Get your HP back that way. He's already gained two since he got here. This zone is so easy that he's actively doubling his HP. <laughs> Took a hit there, unfortunately. I 
I got fourth today in the daily. Fourth or fifth. I think fifth, actually, out of the 60 people. I did pretty well. Starting to get the hang of some of those runs. Made the right decisions. I'm just watching the, uh, the corpse eating festival on the left here. It's pretty good. Laser on the right. Still in area one, though. Patty's having some trouble getting through. Sanity isn't really my thing. I think it's uh, something I'll probably pass on. Honestly, I'm pretty busy, too. I would be debating whether I'd sign up for an open tournament again. I just don't have much time. Running two of these at once. For one thing, working on my show. Just got better from being sick from going to uh, do my show live, and that was uh, that's still a video I need to put together. But uh, honestly, I need to contact Magfest and see if I can get their footage. But they have their own vod up, and it was it was pretty good, so I didn't feel like I was in a rush to do it. Like I think most people saw that footage already, who wanted to. But I am gonna ask them for it. Knife and fork is really good. It's really good. It pays off big time. Doesn't really even slow you down. You're gonna kill those enemies anyway, probably. Just end up benefiting from it a lot. Especially in Area 3, I would say is the biggest payoff. We see uh, NPC with 5 health, I think he got most of that back from that. If he dies, he'll be in a bad place though, because Patty's on his way down now. Doing way better. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get your swing in this thing. You can still die really fast, because you really just have to stay on your game the whole run. At least nothing in this game does more than one damage, so there's always that. But you just don't have a lot of health. Not until you earn it, anyway. And earning it probably won't happen in this. Patty, down to one health, actually. There's an oppie. Knife and Fork is pretty good, uh, I just don't know how much HP you'll actually get from it. Like, the Apple gives you 4 straight up as well, and it's... It's probably not as much over the whole run as Knife and Fork, but it's pretty damn close, honestly. It's pretty close to that. I don't think you're gonna get more than... If you actively go after corpses, you might get as many as 8 or 9 heals from it. I'd be surprised if you managed to pull off more. You'd have to get it pretty early for that. And that's not a small amount of HP or anything, it's just... There's other ways to heal, too. HP is a big concern in this, so that's a good mutation to pick. You see, he's still alive, but only two health left. As those jetpack boots, whenever he runs out of ammo, he can hold uh, fire for a little bit longer and stay in the air. It's not a, not a short amount of time, either, and you can let go of it for a little bit, too, if you want. Go in and out of that. He's ready to combo and get some HP back too, so he's actually sitting on a third HP. Gonna have a rough boss fight. Patty's in the water zone. One HP! He has to land to get that HP. He's going to now. Still has another whole zone to go with two HP. Two grand, yeah, NPC should go shopping. Get some HP back that way. Playing pretty pretty risky. Very dedicated strategy here. Going for pure speed. If he makes it to the boss, and if he's good at the boss, he's okay. Uh, the boss isn't outrageous or anything, it's just... It's a little on the hard side, but it's static. It's not really random. It's got a couple... Elements of, like, enemies that have AI that chase, and it's got homing bullets, but... That's all stuff that you can dodge... Exactly. Like, you can, you can always do it right if you do it and do it well. 
He's got to drop off for a heal there. Got my eyes on him. Patty's nearly dead over there on the right. With the air. Still at 3 HP, though. He's back in good shape. It's boss time for NPC. He made it. He did do it. The way NPC is playing is kind of what I expect to see out of the end game for this. If people can do what he's doing on hard mode, they deserve to win. Let's see if you can pull this off with 2 HP. Actually, you got 7 shopping at the end of the game. Didn't even notice. Yeah, he's got this wrapped up, actually. It'll be hard to die with 7 HP. The big store. That's a good strategy. Difficult to pull off, but very effective. Completely remove the boss as a threat. 7 HP is a ton. It's a regular fight now. Random tomato. You mean an apple from the uh, upgrades? Whoa. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Can you... Do you get that for, like, a ton of money or something? That might be a thing. I don't remember that. That might be a guaranteed thing. Might very well. I'm not sure. Gonna plead ignorance on this. I probably would have known... Back when I was playing this game, I just don't remember that at all. I know you, you get score for not spending money, so it might just have a system in place to heal you in that case. For no rooms. You see, there is a system in place for speedrunning this game. There it is. <laughs> oh man, he's taking damage now though. He's got to be careful. That's phase three. Is he going to take the triple? He is. Triple. Not my favorite gun for this at all. Probably the worst gun for this, actually, but... The HP. I understand why you would go for that. The HP gives you a little bit of a window of mistake. It still works. There's the problem, is that you, you run out of bullets, even now in late game. Before you hit the boss through. PC needs to not choke here or he's gonna end up putting a big risk on himself because Patty is right behind in World 4 there. I think one more set. That's gonna do it. NPC's got a point. Alright, nice work. Laser Sight is extremely good if you're using a weapon that's not the laser. Because that range really gives a boost. Any weapon would be great with that. The shotgun probably would be the best gun in the game in that case. That distance. That accuracy. Cat rescued. Waiting on Patty. To see the chat. Tell him... To let him know that, uh, you know what? I'll go tell him. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I told him. Restart that clock. Thirty minutes. You gotta remember one thing. Patty was fifty seconds behind at the start of that, right? So I was um I was waiting a little bit to tell him that uh, he couldn't do it, but uh, there was no way he was going to win in 50 seconds from there. He still had 4-3 to go. 
and the boss takes more than 50 seconds, like no matter what, the boss isn't that fast. That 50 seconds of credit is gone now. They started at the same time this time, so. We're even. So I wonder if Patty didn't take all those deaths. I wonder if he would have made it on that last run as fast as NPC went. Did the power from the guns speed up Patty that much and the mutation choices and stuff? How much benefit did NPC's method actually give? It's hard to say. Because Patty did take some deaths. What is what, HTTP? And he's going shopping. I'm definitely a fan of the regular playstyle. I would definitely, uh... Now that I've been reminded about the tomato, I'd think about it. Thought I could make it, but I'd really have to feel good about my weapons and energy. I'd probably aim for 9-10 minute time and just go with it. Nine and a half, ten minutes is probably what I'd be trying to get. The thing about not stopping at any of the stores is you get to play a lot more carefully. I, I don't know if it pays off. so hard to analyze things like that in this kind of game. I think he's forced to play more carefully. I mean, look at his health right now. He also loses auto mutations a little bit. <laughs> I'm wondering if the gun affects your speed because I'm sure I mean I bet that's where most of the time lost is that skeleton oh geez he's pissed off man nice work getting out of there without taking damage this is like a platformer with no no jumping <laughs> like not really you're kind of just always going down so when you get surrounded like that you don't have a lot of space you just don't have a lot of movement so things like what he just did are really impressive It's hard for me to see the blinking skulls and the citrus layout that Patty has. I'd have trouble with this color scheme, personally. Though I do like the way it looks. There's a lot of benefit to grabbing guns, for sure. You get energy and ammo, uh, just gets upgraded naturally that way. You also get hearts. You get your heals that way. You don't have to play so cautiously because you're ha you're constantly healing. If you're arm spin style, you're gonna lose a lot of time going into the side rooms, but you're also gonna get a lot of um, power back, make up for how fast you're falling down just straight. I mean, if you just run in and grab the weapon and run back out, how much time are you losing over the whole run? Thirty seconds to get what? Probably eight HP and. 10 energy, 
20 energy, probably. Actually, a lot of energy. Enough to last the whole game. Not to mention, you'll find a weapon you like on floor 3 or 4 and keep it, and then you'll be solid. Like, look at Patty's already got the laser. I would consider not switching weapons too much more unless I liked what I was getting at this point. 2 3. Now, he's not keeping up with NPC really here. Uh, NPC is two ahead, actually. So there's that. It's working better for NPC than Patty this time. Patty's moving at a pretty good pace, but it's just not quite enough to keep up with what NPC's doing. But if NPC gets taken out, as he very well might right now, that was extremely dangerous right there. His life was on the line, his things weaved around him. Uh, if he gets taken out, he's in a whole lot of trouble because Patty can play it a lot slower, just in general. He didn't get taken out last time though, so you can't depend on that at all. Yeah, I feel like combos? Combos are something else. Combos might be a mistake. Uh, I wouldn't go after them too hard. Even if you are just landing on enemies directly below you, it would probably be way better to try and avoid enemies in general, just weave around them, than it would be to, uh, to kill them. In the case of the knife and fork, that's way faster than trying to get combos. And that freaking piranha thing, I can see why people don't like that enemy. How oh, did he die? NPC got taken out, I didn't see what got him. That's, uh, that's good news for Patty. Patty with three health, eating corpses to heal. He's got five HP now. If you don't combo, I don't feel like you're gonna have more than six or seven. Uh, and I feel like you'd be lucky to have six or seven. But that's okay. That's an okay -ish amount of HP. I would definitely recommend being okay with the boss, like familiar with the boss enough that you'd feel comfortable with 4 HP and you'd go in with a good weapon and be like, yeah, I got this. I think that's a good place to be above anything else that you try and do. I think that's what you want, is to be able to not have to grind HP to win this. I feel like Patty is starting to make mistakes by going into all these rooms at this point I think it's no longer worth the time this is about when I would have stopped because he's definitely got the energy he doesn't really need any more HP he's full up and he just needs to find a good gun and uh, just drop down that's what he needs to do I I would say I would consider every room that he goes in aside from shops at this point to be a waste of time HP max 7. Now he doesn't even have to be careful, really. He just needs to not go crazy on taking hits. Probably wants to replace the gun he's got. He does have the weapon swapper, so he can grab something nice. Somewhere. Hunter's an okay, uh, I would say, intermediate weapon. It's, it's right in the middle, in my opinion, on weapon quality. Nothing special. There's shotgun. Now that's that's damn good. I would enjoy that. You could get laser sight on that. I think you'd be all set. I think that's what he's looking for. But he got himself a shotgun again <laughs> with a heel on it. So whatever. NPC's on his way back down. I'm sure he knows that he's behind. You don't take a death that far in and feel too good about it.
The fast they're falling. Jeez. Patty's opening fire on everything. Laser, that's what he wants. Okay. Too bad that it was an energy pickup. Couldn't get any health off that, but... He's got... One building up, one health building up at 20. He just needs five more kills and then he can grab one on a combo. Gotta get it here, yeah. He wanted to get it before he dropped any further because then he can queue up a new one soon. Took another hit at five already. There's a lot of enemies around here to kill. Combo's at 14. Is that three? No, he's still got one more floor to go, so... The thing about combos, you gotta be careful of. At the start of every level, they try and uh, land on so solid ground like that. You can dodge that, you just have to be ready. You just have to make sure you jump right when the thing starts. Then you can keep your combo, you can keep it rolling like he did, and uh, he's three off of an HP, so he'll be full. Definitely will be full. Oh, took a hit. Gotta get that HP back though, right here. By walking off the ledge. There it is. NPC's in the water zone already. Obviously moving at a crazy fast pace. To have caught up already. He's got the entire fourth world to go through though, and that's quite a bit. Quite a journey. It's boss time. How do you opts for energy over health? Let's see if that pays off. <laughs> boss is not weak until he stops shaking the screen. You can't actually hit him before then, so no reason to go crazy. Phase one. These are really good players. This is single elimination. One of these two will not be a threat in the tournament anymore after this. Lucky for the other contestants. Phase two, do not want to see a death on the boss here. Four health left. Crowd control is a big part of this boss. On this phase, they got the uh, the stupid little piranha boys to chase after you. You gotta make sure you get them before they get you. you don't want to be messing around with those guys. Now he's got one pursuing him a little bit, but he's not gonna keep up. Phase four with three health left, three damage so far. This shouldn't be too bad. Laser makes this part really easy because you can uh, you can give yourself plenty of room to maneuver. And you don't want to hit the top of the ceiling though. Two health left. Not a whole lot of chase going on in this aside from the fireballs. That is going in really hard on this, trying to get it done. There it is. One point. One to one. Best of three is coming in. Let's see this last match. Everyone's got a cat.
Waiting to hear ready from Patty. Start. Hey, round three. Viper, that's right. Thanks for the sub, man. <laughs> round three. Fight. From the top, let's see who wins this. A death cost NPC that last round for sure. You, he lost a tremendous amount of time from that. Too much to catch up. I've got a lot of cats. They're kind of independent though. NPC's getting really lucky in finding youth. Youth gives him one health back, but it also gives him mutation choice plus one. His boulder style's biggest weakness is that he only starts with two choices instead of three. Uh, youth resets that to default. Now, if he didn't have boulder style, he'd have four choices. So it's still, you know, but he's really solving one of the big problems of boulder style right there, is that you won't be able to pick any of the good mutations. Three is plenty. Four is a little overkill, honestly. Three is way better than uh, two is. Two is really crappy. So he's getting a little lucky, especially at the start of the run, to be getting youth like that. Completely RNG on that. I would say it's one of the ones he wants to look out for to make up for that weakness. There's laser for both players here. Actually, uh, what is, um... No, never mind. Why did I think he had laser? He's doing the he's doing the no entrance thing again. Still working that machine gun. No damage, no energy, no nothing. That's a really hard run. He's going all in on it too. He'll live or die by this method. I think he's going to determine right now if people think this is a good thing to train or not. Because if this works for NPC, and he seems to be going pretty fast with it, uh, it might work for others. Very risky, very high, high risk play for sure, but is there speed behind it? When he gets to the bottom, he can fight the boss by grabbing a different weapon there and the tomato, but he took a death. That's going to put him way back. Uh, the start of this, he just lost three minutes. I, would, I will be looking for hard mode in the quarterfinals and onward, so this run will be even worse than the machine gun against all those boys, against all those chasers that are going to be showing up in an area one and area two is going to have the spikes you're not going to be able to heal for. Might get you. They play the, uh...
<laughs> there we go. Five minutes in, Catacombs 3 for Patty. NPC catching up as quick as he can. He's still gonna go through War 1. Patty is rolling in health. He hasn't taken any hits at all, really. He's gaining health left and right. Off of combos, off of weapon pickups. The advantage of his arm spin is just lots of weapon pickups. If he can get a hold of the weapon swap control thing, that's the arm spins mutation to look for. Reverse engineering. Let's him pick the weapon he wants and get the, the upgrade he wants, and he has it. Which probably explains why he's getting so many hearts. If he doesn't like the weapon, he can swap it, and it will swap not only the weapon, it swaps from hearts to energy or vice versa. So he just picked up a heart triple instead of uh, an energy something else. It's gonna keep him healed up the whole way. Too, Apple. I'll tell you what one of the big things is that sucks um, for NPC is he lost youth. I was talking about how that fixes his issue. Unfortunately, he did lose it <laughs> and he didn't get it back this time. A less fortunate run for him is what it is. turret to back up his machine gun which is good find I guess it matches his weapon pretty well there's a surprising number of ways that you can approach this speedrunner challenge and one of them is what NPC's doing and uh, the mutation that he's gotten actually backs it up pretty well it's a mutation that fires when you do, so it doesn't really work with slower weapons. His only weapon is a fast one, so it's actually really good for him. I wouldn't usually rank the turret that high, but in his case, it's what he wants. What else do we have for music? Oh, I know what to play. These two are actually not too far apart now. Hey, Pokeball, thanks for the sub, man. I think they might actually be in the same area. Patty's in either 2-2 two, two or, or... He's either in 3-2 or 3-3 three, three here. I know that, so I'm just not sure where. Those prawn enemies there don't show up until 3-2. NPC's health makes me nervous. Patty does not have such concerns. Patty's playing the uh, slow and steady way here. He's not getting a record time, but he's getting a win. That's the way he's going about this. I think he's gonna get that win. Uh, so I think it's a uh, NPC racing against the clock here. He's gotta beat the tortoise. Patty's only one area ahead. Half of one, really. Laser! Here's where his edge kicks in, the weaponry, and especially in this area. That machine gun sucks, <laughs> that laser's way better. It kills three of these guys in a shot. If they line up wrong, you can really take them out. Patty's afraid to just free fall here. He doesn't trust his reflexes enough to just go for it. 
you see how he's shooting the empty space a lot to keep himself from uh, going too fast? Then we'll go too fast. I think he could ease up on it a little bit. But on the other hand, what do I know? He's got eight health on this run. That's a freaking truckload of health. Eight health, there it is. Truckload, dude. He's not gonna die unless he really screws up. Meanwhile, NPC coming into World 4 here. And he nearly took four guys out in one blast. That laser. Ready to get another heart piece, too. If he feels like it. Talked about this last time, but uh, it might be beneficial to sit on the heart piece. The heart piece isn't actually a heart. Um, unless you get four of them, and you probably won't anymore. You might want to just sit on that, and if you take damage, then use it. You know what I'm saying? Sit on it, and in case you actually do take a hit, then land and get your health back. Might be a better idea than just getting heart pieces, unless you actually think you're going to need and get 9 HP. It's much more likely you're going to get a hit here and uh, just be able to heal that instantly. NPC taken out again. That's going to be seriously dangerous for him. I seriously, seriously doubt that Patty's going to get taken out. So I think we might see the end of this thing now. <laughs> Play this credit speech. What else we got here? This is Patty's game to lose at this point. 18 minutes is enough time for NPC to win if Patty really chokes, but he'd really have to choke harder than anyone has yet, that's for sure, because nobody's been as powerful as he is right now. Not even close. That much energy, that much health. Nine health. He is probably two and a half, three health above the average here. Got the balloon. That's right. No death from above, got the balloon. NPC took two nasty deaths on this. He played hard and fast, he didn't quite make it, just barely did not make it. That second time was really close to the end, but not quite. He needed to make it through two more zones. I'm surprised we saw somebody try that build, even in normal. It's only going to get harder on uh, the upgraded mode, obviously. I'm honestly surprised anyone's gone for boulder style, but I can see why you would in the case of that build. We've seen people go boulder style anyway, that 2 HP. But uh, obviously, this is uh, Patty is showing it is very possible to get high HP without starting with six. He gained five over the course of this run. Patty is usually a contender in uh, my tournaments. I'm not surprised to see him doing so well. NPC is also a really good player from a lot of the tournaments I've seen and hosted. I do feel like the start of the game is pretty rough, so that's where that 2 HP might come in handy for you the most, but like, it would be better to just be good at the start of the game. <laughs> it would be faster to just get good at the start of the game. Patty has 6 HP, normally a full bar, coming in on this final phase. Just 16 blasts to go. The air doesn't reset. You start to choke and lose HP. That's it. Patty's got it. <laughs> the Maximum Tomato Super Plan didn't work out, but it was very interesting to watch. Thanks, NPC and Patty for playing. Patty's moving on, though. Patty will continue down the road. See who he's playing against. It's gonna either be Linebacker or Validan. Whoever wins that 
And with that, our tournament is already 20% done. We're already seeing quite a few matches. And by the time next weekend's, we'll probably be half done, because I've got a lot queued up. I've got a ton. We do have some matches tomorrow. <laughs> NPC's happy to have won once with his crazy plan. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. I'm heading out. I will be back tomorrow to do those rounds. Let me look at my calendar. You can always check my schedule, too. It's in the command. I'll be back at 5 and 6 for Mystery Triathlon Races and AI Arena at 8. That's the plan tomorrow. Saturday, I've got two matches, 3 and 7. Sunday, I've got four things going on. Three of them are Mystery Triathlons, one Arcade Pit, and Monday... Four down wall matches. Those two, those weekend is busy, man. Jeez. All right. I'm going to throw you over. The Ty Tuesday. He's still in Slay the Spire. He's doing his own tournament as well. See you next time, folks. Thanks for coming in.